Hello, the day is finally here. I am taking the rudder home with me, but first I have to disassemble it because, well, it can't fit in my car as it is. So, enjoy the frustration of removing the one bolt that holds the wooden part, the uh, tiller on the rudder. Well, as you can see, it was a not so much of a struggle, but yeah. So the pro a problem with this was just a moment ago that I couldn't get the wooden part out. And the reason is why I'm taking this home, well, you can see it need, needs some love and attention. So I'm going to sand it grind it, perhaps even burn it, well, not burn it, but recoat it with, uh, what is that, polyester, no, poly, not polyester, polyurethane, lacquer, coating stuff. And yeah, this is my dealer, how do you like it? <laughs> yeah, so it is time to start to removing the uh, thingy ma thingy and the holder for thingy ma thingy and after that I'm going to start to take the old varnish out by using using something like this so this has seen some life but it has a good blade and I have still more plates in store for this. So let's start. So, let me show you how it turned out. So, I don't know, too much light, much better. So, as you can see, it turned out pretty okay. And I guess this is teak, and as you can see, this is, I think this is awesome. It is uh, teak, some other wood, and teak. Nice. All it needs now is some finishing. I am planning to use not sponsored. I don't show where I got it. But yeah. Urethane alkylide varnish luck something. Bot luck posvenska. Vene lakka but yeah, pretty okay. Uh, this is the only part that I didn't cut very well, is the end. But yeah, I'll get back after I have done some finishing passes. <laughs> so, this is my setup for this awesomeness. <laughs> I need to uh, put some finishing on, now that it has dried overnight after the varnish removal, so all the moisture that was trapped inside this wood has gone. 
So now I'm using just an empty ice cream can. As you can see, I have been eating some ice cream. But yeah, um, I'm going to pour some of the polyurethane coating on this and dilute it with some thinner. Nothing fancy. Always remember to just shake a little bit. Shake the ass. Wait. So I will take some, like so. Actually this looks quite good already for the job. All I need now is some gloves and then it's time to get rubbing. Of course, this is a clean piece of microfiber towel that I'm using. I think this first layer is going to just be soaked in the wood because it's pretty dry. And I am not aiming for the grand piano finish here. I'm just aiming for some protection against the elements in the sea. As you can see, lovely color change. I love this stuff. Now comes the tricky part. I have to do the bottom half without tipping this apparatus over. Also, I have placed some old rugs, like the welcome sign from my house and so on, on the floor to protect it from any epic fails. But I think this whole project is about winning. I don't know what I win, but what is the price? Except the satisfaction of rubbing on stuff on hard wood. <laughs> oh, that's so nasty. <laughs> yeah. It's important to remember to go to all the places with this first uh, first application. Well, it's important in all uh, the times that. I apply this, but yeah. Oh, it's drying on so fast. So, so dry wood. Here 
Kuris piista tai mist. I have to move it little. Hello. So <coughs> I lost the footage from here on. But there wasn't anything special uh, anymore. So <coughs> thanks for watching and have a nice day. Yeah. Bye.